Hi everyone, um, I'm bringing you some hauls today as um, over the last two weeks as usual I've done lots of shopping and um, probably going to have to do it in one, two, maybe three different hauls but I'm going to start right into it now. Um, I'm going to go to Boots first and what I got from Boots is uh, these number 17 eyeshadow palettes absolutely adore them I've used this one already they're the number 17 eyes <coughs> this one is in in the nude and it's gorgeous gorgeous colors absolutely very very pigmented we've got the light one the medium one and the dark one there you go you see them on there they're absolutely gorgeous they're really really pigmented they're nice and creamy there's not a lot of fallout with them um, so yeah, I got that one which is in the nude. I got that one about a week or so ago and then when I went back today, no not today, <coughs> a couple of days ago, I found this one and this one is called Broken Hearted. I love the names of the number 17 eyeshadows, I think they're gorgeous. Um, this one I thought was a smoky dark, just black and silver type colour but when I actually got it home and had a look, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up on camera, but it's like a greeny colour, this one down here. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. The colours are beautiful. That's the silver. I haven't used this one yet. That's like a gunmetal, really dark grey. And this one is just like a greeny black. I don't know if you can see that one there. It's like a really greeny black colour. And they are absolutely lovely. And that one, like I said, is called Broken Hearted. I think they're absolutely gorgeous names. So I picked that one up as well. Sorry, I'm just turning around because I'm putting them on the side of my... I'm just wiping that on my chair. My bad. Um, also, while I was in there, uh, I've been looking at this for ages, and I absolutely love the bourgeois sort of powders, eyeshadows, whatever. Um, and I picked up this. This is the Eclat Mineral... Eclat? Is that how you say it? Eclat Mineral um, Powder. Mineral, mineral Radiance. It looks like that. Um, and it's got a lovely little mirror in it. I'll see the mirror there. And then you've just got this really gorgeous sort of like soft, soft powder. I mean, it's not, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um, it's just a really, really, really nice powder. And I'm not sure if it's called Mineral uh, Radiance because it is a mineral pressed powder. I don't know. But um, I'm, I just use it as a normal powder, to be honest. So, yeah, I got that one. Uh, and I got that one in O2 Vanilla. Um, I also saw that Maybelline had got some new colour tattoo colours in. We haven't got all the ones that the US have got at the moment, but um, this is a gorgeous colour. I can't remember what this is called. Pink Gold. Um, that's that one there. And it's just a really nice sort of pinky. I don't know if you can see that colour of the window. But it's really nice. Let me see if I can swatch it on my hand. Yeah, you can see it better on the hand, actually really really pinky look at the shimmer on that it's gorgeous so i picked one of those up and also while i was in boots i was looking at the rimmel counter and i see that rimmel have now brought out their own bb cream let me just adjust oh yeah, that's better. Uh, their own bb cream which looks like this so i'm sure lisa from spaces number one gonna be interested in this it's a really nice one actually um nine in one they seem to be going up and up. The more people make BB creams, it's like first it was five in one, then it was seven in one, then it was eight in one, and now Rimmel's got a nine in one. Um, it's very nice. I've got mine in light. They they do actually come out quite dark. I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see it. Um, but it's nice. It works on my skin, and I'm quite pale in the winter, so that was that. I think this is on offer at the moment for six ninety nine. It could even be the proper price. I'm not sure. So that's Boots out of the way. Um, then I went to Primark just to have a look round, got some bits and pieces. Um, and when I got to the counter, I found that uh, Primark do makeup. I knew they did sort of like dabbled in makeup, but um, you know, with their eyelashes and the makeup brushes and stuff. But I got this. Get the look. Oh, right, pretty sultry lady on the front there. Um, this has got some absolutely gorgeous colours in it. Now, if I can sort of like show you without it all falling out, there you go. We've got some eyeshadows in there. We've got some lip glosses up here. Um, we've got a bronzer and a highlighter. 
you also get like the little brushes um, you get an eyeliner and you get a mascara um, didn't hold up much high hopes I mean it was only four pounds I think yeah um, but they are actually really nice colours and they're quite pigmented some of them are a bit pale let me just swatch there's a gorgeous purple in here which I've got there's an absolutely gorgeous green there's a tealy sort of bluey green that's really nice there's a gold so there's just four of the colours there um, and on the skin oh let me just have a look if I can do it yeah they come out really well um, so they're really nice colours they've also got other colours in there they've got some neutral colours in there um, they've got a, like a whitey sh they're, most of them are shimmery um, they've got one matte black I think and a matte sort of bluey colour um, the lip glosses I can give or take the lip glosses because I don't really use them that much um, it's got a little pencil sharpener in there and it's got one of these little cheapy applicators which I don't use but I'll put it in the box um, yeah the bronzer's not bad I can get a swatch of the bronzer. I've got so much eyeshadow on my fingers now, I can't sort of like that's the bronzer and that's blushy highlighter and you can see those. They're quite fine and pale but um and of course you get the little how to guide for the smoky eyes there. Um yeah, that's a colour collection, get the look and it was there you go, you can see that? Four pounds. So I bought that as well. I'm a sucker for palettes, as you know. Um also I went to the factory shop, which I absolutely adore. You know I love the factory shop. Just having a look around in there, got some few little um, presents. I'm not going to shout that out. Um, but there was one thing in there that caught my eye. Uh, loads of people on here use, um, I don't know if you've heard of it, the Smashbox uh, Primer. It's like a clear silicone gel. Well, I discovered that, um, I think this is W7. Is it? W7? Yep, W7. Um, have got their own... Uh, primer. It's a camera ready one so it's got no SPF in it I don't think. Um, it's really nice. It's very, it's a very, it's a silicone based one, definitely silicone based. It's a uh, very clear sort of, I don't know if you can see that there, clear sort of gel but it really does like clear the pores and it, it basically makes them look like they're not there. It When it goes on and you rub it in it just feels like silk um, on your face and it makes a really nice base for makeup so I've got that one and that one was £4 which I'm pretty sure the Smashbox, Smashbox one isn't £4 but um, yeah I got that and it's fantastic so that was that um, and also while I was in there Arlene Phillips who used to be one of the judges on Strictly Come Dancing has also brought out some makeup um, and this was her Strictly um, Essentials kit I think it's something it's called uh, it comes in a nice little sort of like case, just with a zip and a little, little tag with a heart on it. And you open it up and inside, there you go, you've got the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous blusher down here. Under this little thing up here is, if I can get the spongy bit off, is a little face powder. And it's got the most gorgeous four natural neutral eyeshadows in it. Um, it's got two eyeliners and a brow pencil. It's got the little sort of blusher brush. We've got a neutral matte sort of, well, natural colour. Um, you've got a beautiful sort of like pinky colour. A nice bronzy, rosy gold sort of colour. And the most gorgeous gold highlight. There you go. That's those. It also, if I can get it out, comes with, oh, I can't get it, um, a beautiful little um, double ended lipstick so one side you've got that colour which is a sort of naturally pinky corally browny colour and on the other side you've got another one which I think is a bit darker yeah um, there you go that's those two colours um, and that comes in this the cutest 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 little double ended sort of um, double ended lipstick there you go wonderful to keep in your bag absolutely brilliant idea to keep in your bag um, if you don't want to carry bulky lipsticks um, so that was that and it also comes with a double ended lip gloss one is a very um, they're, they're brushes rather than doe applicators which is 
I take it that one sort of goes with that one, which is like a corally colour. And on the other side, you've got a pinky colour, which obviously goes with the... Uh, oh, that's really pigmented, that one. And there you go. That's the lipstick. And those are the glosses at the top. One's pinky and one's sort of corally goldy colour. So that comes in that little kit. And I believe that was six pounds. Um, I've used it a couple of times because it's absolutely wonderful and it was a bargain, to be honest. Again, it's quite padded so that you can keep it in your bag and it shouldn't get smashed. So that's the first part of my um, haul. I've got quite a, more, quite a few more bits to show you, so I'm going to do them in like a, in two different videos. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that haul and I shall see you in part two, which will be along after this one. Okay, thanks a lot guys, I'll see you soon, bye!